Hello everyone. In last video, we have discussed about determination of thickness of thin mica or glass using Presnel by prism experiment. In today's video, I am going to discuss about determination of wavelength of light using Presnel by prism experiment. That is, determination of wavelength of light using Fresnel by prism. And the experimental setup to determine wavelength of light, it consists of a, a source and by prism and then eyepiece and the light waves from source S incident on by prism and due to this we are going to observe two virtual sources this is the source S this is virtual sources S1 and S2 due to these virtual sources we are going to observe interference pattern in eyepiece that is it is the by prism it is eyepiece due to this virtual sources we are going to observe interference pattern in eyepiece and the distance between source and by prism is a and the distance between by prism and eyepiece is b and we represent the total distance that is from source to eyepiece is denoted by capital d this is all about experimental arrangement of prism by prism and one more thing we are going to observe a interference pattern interference pattern that is alternating bright dark bright dark fringes and in second bc we have studied angst double slit experiment and there also we are going to observe interference pattern in prism by prism the interference is formed is similar to the angst double slit experiment and we are going to use one of the equation in angst double slit experiment that is fringe width that is here the theory of interference and fringe formation in case of prisoner by prism is same as double slit experiment and the width of the dark or bright fringe is given by beta is equals to lambda into d divided by small d or we can write lambda is equals to beta into small d divided by capital D and here by observing experimental setup we can calculate the capital D that is it is the distance between source and eyepiece that is here where capital D is equals to 
a plus b that is distance between source and eyepiece and we need to calculate beta and small d okay now let us see how to calculate beta and small d okay now let us determine fringe width that is determination of fringe width here in ips we are going to observe a interference pattern that is alternative dark bright dark bright and dark bright dark bright dark fringes in ips this is the interference pattern which we have observed in ips and here the distance between two fringes gives the fringe width in ips a vertical cross wire is given and we coincide that vertical cross wire on first bright fringes and we note position of the ips and is read on scale and let us suppose say the first position as a x not and then gradually move this cross wire to the next bright fringe and let us record the position of the ips and say this is the x1 and then let us move cross wire to the next bright fringe and say its position on scale is x2 and if you move the cross wire and let us move the cross wire to the nth bright fringe and let us say the position of the ips is read on the scale and let us say it has a xn these are the positions of bright fringes on ips and the fringe width for first two bright fringes is given by x1 minus x0 and divided by 1 and for this distance the fringe width is given by x2 minus x0 here totally there are three bright fringes and we have to take average of it so i am going to divide this by 2 then we are going to get a fringe width average of it and for and for distance x0 to x3 is given by x3 minus x0 divided by 3 so here every time we are going to take average of it and in general the fringe width for nth bright fringe is given by beta is equals to xn minus x0 divided by n this is the fringe width okay now we have calculated the fringe width now let us see the second one how to determine small d